We're out prospecting today on a new logging road and uh, we're checking about a bunch of new mineralized and uh, oxidized outcrops on this road. We're going to be doing some trace analysis to see if there's anything, see if it opens up farther back um, into a bigger deposit, if there's anything worthwhile here. So this is the first outcrop we have. What we're doing is we're going to sample um, a couple of veins and we have a small classifier here. This is an 8 mesh classifier and then it goes down to a 30 mesh classifier. The bottom is which catches your material. So we're going to take the material, um, bag it, and then we're going to send that in for an analysis. So the first area where we want to sample um, is along here. So you have a couple of uh, small little veins along here. We're going to sample th through there and see if there's anything in there. It's uh, quartz with uh, oxidization, so uh, we will see. Let's take the first sample. So when you're sampling for the uh, this kind of sampling, you don't need anything um, crazy for weight. Uh, we're looking at about 30 grams is good enough for a sample. All right, so we got our first sample. Let's move on to the next location. So this is one thing about sampling in the rain. You have your top layer here. Um, if you take a look at the second layer, you have very little material in there and then in the bottom you don't have any. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this material here that we pulled off and we're going to have to dry it out. So we'll have to dry it out later at home and um, then we'll send that in. So we're just going to bag our samples for now um, and we'll get about a pound and then we'll classify it out. Uh, later set it in and post the assay results after we're going to be looking at about four or five spots um, and we'll post those assay results okay so this is the second spot we're going to be sampling here uh, you got some oxidization coming out of your rock and there's small little um, stringer quartz veins so we're sampling here So here's the second sample. Alright, we're in a small quarry here and you have uh, a bunch more oxidized quartz veins, quartz and calcite in this one. Uh, so we're going to be sampling from up here, down here, and over there, um, all in the same sample. Alright, so we got our next sample here, and uh, let's move on to the next spot. So here's our next location. We're going to include some from over here as well in the sample. So there's a little bit of pyrite mineralization on this piece of rock right here. So we're not even looking for uh, any minerals specifically. We're going to send these in for uh, 51 element assay, ICP method. And we're just looking for 
any minerals. Um, iron is a good indication of a deposit. So um, that's one we're looking out for. Iron, gold, silver, uh, trace copper. We'll see what we get. Move on to the next place. Next location. Oxidized, deteriorated calcite. So this outcrop here um, is kind of in an old quarry and um, uh, we're going to take two samples from this quarry, one from here and then one from the other side. Uh, it's about 150 feet long. Alright, so I think that's enough for that sample. Let's move on. Here's the next small vein location. I'm going to pull some from here. Uh, this lower vein right there and then above the uh, outcrop. So what you have here in your uh, host rock is you have disseminations of pyrite and calcopyrite. So we know there's going to be some kind of mineral in this rock here. So this will be our sixth sample. Uh, that vein was the fifth sample back there. And now let's carry on to the next one. All right, so we have another exposure here. Heavily oxidized outcrop with quartz, calcite, and we are going to sample this. So there's noticeable pyrite mineralization on this. Um, we're gonna take a chip sample off of here and send that in as sample number seven. And uh, there's one more spot we're going to sample, and that's it. We're going to get out of the rain. All right, there's our sample. Easy as that. All right, here's the last location. Oxidized outcrop. Taking this sample over uh, about three meters. There's no distinct veins or anything here, but there is little blebs of uh, calcopyrite mineralization um, throughout the rocks. So uh, we're going to sample this and send this in as well for our final sample. Uh, we've covered just over a thousand meters kilometer. Um, I think it's 0.6 of a mile of outcrop and uh, see if there's anything worthwhile to pursue. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. The say results to follow. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.